He's like, from what Exia told us, that he does play a lot of Wi-Fi, oh. or Spargo yeah. does at least, cause, which makes sense because I feel like kids aren't going to locals as much, but right. playing at home a ton. Welcome to Loser Semifinals <laughs> Wednesday Night Fights. You got Armando versus Spargo, the pride of uh, Tijuana, yeah, coming out, putting in some work. Everything from this point on in the bracket will be a best of five round, right. so we're going to see some lengthy sets, especially with the level of play that we're seeing from all of these players left in the bracket now. And Armando elected to go Snake, because we've been seeing a little bit of Meta Knight earlier in the day. It'll be interesting to see, just because I feel like, you know, Cloud's going to have such a good time uh, at, on Snake in the disadvantage oh position. Fearless goes right through the grenade. He's so quick. That's that's the reactions that only 10-year-olds only have. <laughs> and he's just keeping on the pressure, and Armando having a little bit of trouble. Oh, got the grenade. Good shield grenade. Able to sneak out. And they reset back up. Hey, you know. The C4 is right there, yep. Wasn't able to get away quite quick enough. It's that old adage, right? Uh, they've, they've been talking about all the Brawl players know how to fight Snake. And I, I don't think Spargo played Brawl competitively, if I just had to guess based off uh, <laughs> the overall age, age of the load, players. Yeah. But he's still showing himself very good at uh, fighting Snake so far. And it just goes to show <laughs> Wi-Fi can be good practice. Yeah. Yeah, can you imagine trying to dodge the grenade storm and the Wi-Fi lag? Oh, just, uh, he's like, this is this is free. This is easy. This is easy mode. Easy for mode yeah. <laughs> I can actually do what I want to when I want to. Yeah. Okay. Armando trying to mount a little bit of a comeback here. Yeah. 134%. <laughs> oh, oh my god. My god. Good presence of mind, you know, converted that grenade into uh, his own up air. Almost killed him. But Armando's got him in oh the edge guard. The Nikita might have killed him too. And Dude. He's got limit now. This kid is so good at recovering. Doesn't he? he has, he's held on to limit the whole time. <laughs> wow. He almost teched that. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? That was funny. I don't even know how. How do you even like get in that position? He up tilted and he somehow hit the side of the stage. Like, oh, Ar I'm lost. <laughs> Armando was, was such a good job though. He was um, down by so much, and now he's built up quite a bit, quite a lead, and just. Oh, yeah. Good patience, letting the game come to him, letting Spargo come to him, pretty much. And the gears were turning a bit there, but he, he got a little bit too comfortable trying yeah. to set up all this uh, projectile madness. Uh, Spargo just going to land on him with that forward air, which was enough to kill. 79%, make that a 92. Wow, from a grenade? That was it? <laughs> all that damage? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, there's another one, and Armando found his opportunity. Didn't quite get it. Goes right back into neutral. Armando already looking for these up tilts. It's probably enough to kill at yeah. this point. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Spargo's got him off stage. This might be his chance. Let's see. He's got the reverse landing. There it is. Yeah, snakes are so slippery on landing. Just, you know, B reverses for days. Yeah. B reversing the grenade to switch up the trajectory and also dropping C4s from the sky. Oh, that's not uh, Not quite enough yeah. to kill. Weakened. Weakened cross slash. But it does put him in the air. Oh, there's a grenade, though. Armando just so slippery, so hard to put away. But both both characters pretty much in that kill range. Uh, I'm not sure. I was wondering if maybe he was at uh, that down yeah, throw percent down where throw it would just tilt, combo. Yeah. Well, if he wasn't before, he probably is now. Oh, that. Oh wow. God. Oh, no oh, I did not know who got the hit right there. Yeah, I got scared for both of them. The, was, but Armando barely the got it. Yeah, the hitbox of the, uh, what was that? The forward air or the neutral air. Or neutral air, yeah. Thanks, neutral air. Yeah. And the neutral air came out on top, and Armando, just by the skin of his teeth, pulls out game one. Man, this is uh, our top four here in Wednesday Night Fights. We got CT Lux on the microphone. And joined by Edmund, and I'm, I'm super ecstatic, man. I mean, a lot of you guys may have already known this is Spargo number one from Tijuana, but this is news to me. Right. And so I'm, I'm super excited to see these matches. This is fresh. Right. Fresh for sure. I'm also just like blown away by how young this kid is. And so, uh, and so skilled and so talented. It's the, uh, it's a beautiful thing when both uh, talent and you know, uh, and skill just line up to meet, and then you get this prodigy, and he's making he's behind right now, but had an opportunity to kind of open Armando up, lost it. Good job by Armando, able to 
get back to the stage and take the lead with the first stock, and he's built himself quite a bit of a lead. Oh yeah, only 36% on his first stock now. Able to secure Spargo's first. Yeah, it's definitely seeming like he's picking up the pace a little bit. I mean, he was he was losing that first game until he finally like made the adaptations he needed to. Yeah, might have caught Spargo getting a little anxious and trying to go in a little too hard, too. Um, oh, there's the, the throw to up tilt combo at low percents. Yeah, I'm surprised he delayed the uh, C4 for as long as he did it. I thought he was going to uh, immediately detonate that after the up tilt. Yeah. He caught him with another one by surprise. Oh, uh, a little bad air dodge right there. Just kind of got a free grab out of it. Oh, my God. The oh. grenade covers the... The cross slash. Oh, it kills though. Yeah, uh, Spargo upper. evens up the stock, but he's down by 94. Up there just enough. 94. All right, he runs right up into his face, wow. gets grabbed and thrown onto that C floor. Okay. See ya. That was set up. That was a set yeah, play. That was, yeah, Armand. <laughs> Even trying to bait out right there for the C floor, and Spargo in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he looks like, you know, we were saying before in the bracket, uh, Spargo was playing without fear, but you can tell he's a little bit tentative now at this point, trying to just not, trying to feel his way through, only to shield a little bit longer. Not quite sure how to, you know, take the snake yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, he's, his, his aggressive options that tend to work in a lot of other situations are not working now because Armando is uh, being very smart by holding on to a grenade. So that grenade is... Wow. There you go. <laughs> and it's Dude, that's the thing, that's the thing about commentating Snake is like you can't really talk about anything else because there's the show, some, there's the something movie cooking. Going on. Yeah, there's something cooking in the background. Right. So and this is the thing, like Spargo, he's getting a lot of mileage when he's being fearless and staying aggressive. Yeah. And that's like that's kind of like the enigma of Snake. You gotta find your spot. Yeah. And once you find your spot, then you go in and put the work in it. It's one of those very nuanced and subtle uh, situations that you know. A lot of times people are very aggressive players by nature, or very yeah. defensive players by nature. You have to be both versus Snake, and then you have to be able to make yourself be the player you need to be at the time. Do I need to be the player that's defensive right now? Yeah. Or do I need to be the player that just goes ham on the Snake and, and puts it all the way? And that goes for a lot of matchups, honestly, right. like a, a good mix of, of aggressive and passive play. However, with Snake, it's like really prevalent right. because of the nature of the Grenades covering yeah. area, yeah. And right now, let's see if Spargo is able to find whatever magic that he had early bracket. Is uh, you know after after dropping the, the games, now that he's throwing a little you know a little chink in his armor, uh, I don't think he's gotten a game yet. No, yeah, he's down by two so far. This is his last chance to make something happen. And Armando already racking up 101 percent. He's gonna burn that blade beam for a quick amount of damage. One thing I do want to see Spargo do a little bit more, which we haven't seen, and that's going to be the first stock. Yeah, he's he's trading with Snake a ton, which is right. exactly like the first thing any Brawl player will tell you is like, hey, man, like, so I never played Brawl. Like, what should I do against Snake? Don't trade with Yeah, him. don't hit the grenades. <laughs> don't, uh, do not trade. It looks, it looks so tantalizing, but it could be trouble. You got to be careful yeah. about it. So, I mean, if this is how Spargo's playing yeah. with a lack of matchup knowledge from not having played, Brawl competitively, you know, we can assume. A lot of it's cloud too. It looks That's like the his hitboxes are being so big. Yeah. It's kind of hard to really space your up air so that you're able to, you know, hit Snake without triggering the grenades right, too much. Yeah. yeah, definitely huge hitboxes all around. But yeah, I do want to see him maybe try to utilize the grenade for right, the, Yeah, right there. That was a very good play. Waited for the grenade, kind of caught Armando in a bad position, and then was able to capitalize with, you know, using the grenade to his advantage rather than the other way around. And that's more of what we want to see of uh, Armando just going to walk, walk up, up his up face. Tilt. <laughs> up tilt. That's when you know you're in someone's head. You just, you know, just, just do that. Yomi level one that and becomes, walk up. That becomes up tilt. an option. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dash oh, attack. Oh, this is trouble. He burned his jump. He's oh, gone. that'll do it. Yeah. Hate to see Solid it. 3 0 coming out from. Armando hey. taking out Spargo. Hey, but good uh, showing from the kid from, you know, the wonder kid from Tijuana. Finish, yeah. Absolutely. Dang, got him. <laughs> All right, so.